Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of software development. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the process of software development and providing you with some valuable tips and tricks along the way. So, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned developer looking to enhance your skills, this video is for you. Let's get started. Cut to host in front of whiteboard. Before we begin, let's establish a solid understanding of what software development is all about. Software development is the process of designing, coding, testing, and maintaining computer programs. It involves a series of steps that ensure the creation of reliable, efficient, and user-friendly software solutions. Graphic of Software Development Life Cycle The Software Development Life Cycle STLC, provides a framework for the entire development process. It consists of several phases, including requirements gathering, design, development, testing, deployment, and maintenance. Understanding this cycle is essential for successful software development. Transition to Requirements Gathering Phase The first phase of the STLC is Requirements Gathering. This involves understanding the needs of the software, the target audience, and the goals of the project. Properly documenting these requirements ensures that developers have a clear understanding of what they need to create. Topic: Best Practices for Requirements Gathering Here are a few best practices for effective requirements gathering. Engage with stakeholders, collaborate with clients, end users, and other stakeholders to gather comprehensive requirements. This ensures that the software aligns with their expectations. Use visual aids, utilize techniques like flowcharts, wireframes, and mockups to visualize the software's functionality. This helps in capturing requirements accurately. Prioritize requirements, identify the essential features and functionalities and prioritize them based on their importance and feasibility. Transition to design phase. Once we have a clear understanding of the requirements, we move on to the design phase. This phase involves creating a blueprint or architectural plan for the software. A well-thought-out design ensures that the final product meets the desired objectives. Topic: Key Aspects of Software Design Here are some key aspects to consider during the design phase. Modularity – Break down the software into modules or components to enhance maintainability and reusability. This allows for easier troubleshooting and future enhancements. Scalability – Design the software with scalability in mind to accommodate future growth and increased user demands. User Interface – UI and User Experience – UX – Create an intuitive and user-friendly interface that enhances the overall user experience. Conduct Usability Testing to ensure the design meets users' expectations. Transition to Development Phase with the requirements gathered and the design in place, we now move on to the development phase. This is where the actual coding of the software takes place. Topic: Tips for effective software development Here are some tips to make your software development process more effective. Use version control. Implement a version control system like Git to track changes, collaborate with team members, and ensure code integrity. Follow coding best practices, write clean, modular, and well-documented code. Adhere to coding standards and naming conventions to improve code readability and maintainability. Test early and often, implement a robust testing strategy, including unit tests, integration tests, and user acceptance tests. This helps identify and fix bugs early in the development process. Transition to Testing, Deployment, and Maintenance After the development phase comes testing, deployment, and maintenance. Testing ensures that the software works as expected, deployment involves making it available to end users, and maintenance involves fixing bugs and adding new features over time. Topic: Importance of Testing, Deployment, and Maintenance Testing, deployment, and maintenance are critical to software development because, Testing ensures quality, thorough testing helps identify and fix bugs, ensuring a high-quality software product. Deployment ensures accessibility, making the software available to end-users allows them to benefit from its features and functionalities. 
Maintenance ensures longevity. Regular maintenance activities keep the software up to date, secure, and aligned with evolving user needs. Conclusion And there you have it. A comprehensive overview of the software development process. Remember, software development is a continuous learning journey, so keep exploring new technologies, tools, and best practices. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments section below. Happy coding!